Oh, best burgers in every state. Okay, let's do it. All right, who's going to have the worst one? I'm going to take a guess, and I'm going to say Rhode Island. Come to Tommy's Burger Stop for the best burgers in Anchorage. The yeah, I'm not leaving like well mass. And huge, so make sure you come with an appetite. The Chuck Box is considered a low Sub star, thank you for 42 Hope months. You're Serving enjoying burgers the since 1972. What makes its burger special is the charbroiled patties that are cooked right in front of its customers, giving the burgers an unforgettable smoky taste. Big Orange prides itself in making fresh and quality burgers with premium and local ingredients. Its most popular beef burger is the Hickory Smoke, which is piled high with cheddar cheese, barbecue sauce, pickles, and fried onion strings. Pie and Burger in Pasadena makes the perfect California-style burger, similar to In-N-Out, but better. The recipe is simple but wonderfully captivating. The old style diner also serves first class pies and milk. Am I crazy? Is it just all the same? The Cherry Cricket is a Denver institution. The only one that looks slightly different was burgers. the Alaska one. The options are limitless, and you can even add mac and cheese to your burger. Louis Lunch is the best of the hamburger sandwich in the U.S. Even today, the burgers are still cooked in the original cast iron grills, topped with cheese. Okay, and that looks kind of. Uh, maybe you know what? Actually, see in the burger, maybe not. Farmer and the cow yeah, I feel like if you put your burger on bread, like actual bread, and it's not because you don't have anything left, but you do it because of choice, you're degen guy. like a just Top complete degenerate. Mozzarella, garlic filled pizza sauce, truffle mayo, and pepperoni, giving it a kind mm. of pizza burger flavor. I don't, I don't really like, the like that Kibana, one. The Cubana, also considered the Cuban hamburger, is a well seasoned beef patty topped with fried potato sticks and onions. I feel like, are they just trying to grab like more out there stuff? Probably. Just so it differentiates a little bit. Because I feel like almost everywhere you go, like a burger is a burger, you know? It originated as a street food in Havana before making its way to South Florida, where it's extremely popular today. And one of the best places to get one is El Mango de las Fritas. This is another the sub. Burger won the title of best burger in oh, Metro I did miss it. My bad, Scar. Thank you for the 19 the months. Appreciate it. Sorry. The winning burger, the Billy's Classic, consists of two beef patties with pickles, American cheese, mustard, and the special sassy sauce. Chubby's Burgers serves quality burgers and milkshakes from its food truck in Honolulu. It uses local ingredients such as grass-fed beef from Kauai and house-made potato buns. Hudson's Hamburgers is a family-owned business that's been flipping burgers since 1907. Customers love its simple and tasty burgers, homemade pie, and nostalgic atmosphere. Raw onion, though? The Ooh. Food Network once declared the All Cheeseburger that looks good. the best burger in America. The critically acclaimed Quick, burger what burger is, is Mask going to get? I don't know. Cheese, probably the most blame thing you've ever seen. And optional bacon and egg that you should definitely add on. Or Bob's bland. Burgers blame. Is famous say for blame. One pound big ugly burger, which was featured on Man vs. Food. If you finish the seven inch diameter burger in one sitting, you get your picture on the restaurant wall. Wait, they just say it was featured on Man vs. Food? Considering how delicious the burger really is. Hog. Man vs. Food reference. Inventive burgers or mentioned. Some whimsical zombie theme uh, I don't know about that one, the Chief. Undead Elvis Maybe a bit of a hot take. With beef patties, cheese, fried Maybe a bit of a hot take, but I hate. Shock value food. I think it's so weird. Bananas, bacon, peanut so butter, dumb. and an egg. As you can see, portions are huge. Locals visit the Cozy Inn for simple burgers, often compared to White Castle burgers. These no frills, no cheese sliders are grilled with onions and packed with flavor and go for one nineteen a pop. Bad Wolf Burgers was originally a small diner. Can't complain about but that. Before long, its burgers outsold everything else on the menu, so it rebranded. There are 13 burgers on the menu year-round, but the most popular is its namesake, the Bad Wolf, which has homemade beer cheese and smoked bacon inside. People love the burgers from Pharmacy Nola. The patties are juicy that looks good. beef, brisket, and short rib. Its specialty is the Pharmacy Ooh. Burger, which is oh. topped with homemade giardinera and bacon jam. I don't know about that the one. The High Roller Never Lobster mind. Co. doesn't just make buttery lobster rolls, but also oh. amazing beef burgers and sandwiches. Man, that's and so... The uh, burger is a must-try beef and No, it's not. Combo. The Abbey Burger Bistro loves to oh, show these burgers with its house-made toppings, sauces, and sides. That looks Mr. pretty good. Mr. Bartley's Burger Cottage is a beloved Boston burger. What the f is this? Burger joint steps from Harvard's campus. Its giant burgers are famously named after many of the city's adorned sports figures and celebrities. I've never heard of this place. Like Tom Brady and Jason Veritek. Tasty's Burgers originally started at a gas station and amassed a large, loyal following with its delicious halal burgers. The award-winning burger is Ali's Nacho Burger. 
It's loaded with four types of cheese, including the... nacho cheese and nacho Doritos. Wait, that looks... Oh, the onions killed it for me, but everything else looks good. Home to the Juicy Lucy, a patty stuffed with cheese in the middle. A must visit for anyone in Minnesota. Jackson natives and tourists stop by Sam's to get one of its 24 ounce double burgers. The burgers are seasoned with a secret blend of spices that keep people coming back. Stacked is a Yo. must visit burger spot in St. Louis. You can get one of its specialty burgers or build the burger of your dreams with a substantial customizable selections. The Burger Dive in Billings has many award Are you not deranked there? Are GM the I'm your Huckleberry seven burger, lose five win and deranked to GM three? Food championships. I have the one I've had crazy high MMR on this account for a long time. Sauce, bacon, goat cheese, like I'm arugula, even with all the losses red, I've gotten red, recently, I'm probably still like a solid six or seven straight burgers, losses away from losing GM one. And chef Alton Brown raves about. We're talking about the croque garçon. It's a one third pound Wagyu beef patty topped with Swiss cheese, grilled ham, and an egg in a ciabatta bun with truffle aioli, tangu mustard, and sliced green onions. Customers come to Slater's 5050 for its over the top premium burgers, especially with bacon. And it's most extravagant, but most popular is the 24 carat burger. It doesn't burger. look good. It's half a pound Ew. of Australian Wagyu beef, truffle cheese. Yo, is it just me that thinks like when bacon, places do like jam, aioli, gold leaf or whatever, it just looks gross? Gold dusted brioche I kind of want to eat gold. People know, even if it's edible. Joint for comfort food. Its burgers are cooked hot and fresh to order, and its fries are an essential side. Steve's Burgers is one of New Jersey's most beloved burger hideaways. It sells about 2,000 burgers weekly, and the best seller is its namesake. Steve's Burger. Six ounce ground chuck patty is grilled and topped with American cheese, onion rings, and Steve's secret sauce. I feel sauce. like some of these are just too much. When you walk into Sparky's, you'll be delighted by the eclectic and vintage memorabilia and decor. But the main attraction is the green chili cheeseburgers. Burgers are flame grilled and topped with New Mexico's famous green chili. Steve's milkshakes are good too. Burgers. Yes, Emily may specialize yeah, the in The place for Massachusetts, I've never Emily's even heard of it. Emily so I was like, okay. It mixes things up with a pretzel bun, graft and cheddar, and caramelized onions. Ever had a burger with a donut Emily's bun? Really no. Honestly, I don't think I'd like it. The burger a sweet and tangy I feel, like, it's, I feel like that's like shock value food, Owl's you know what I mean? Burger Shack was once named America's best burger restaurant by TripAdvisor. Its signature burger is the Bobo Chili Cheeseburger, which is topped with chili sauce, slaw, chopped onion, yellow mustard, and American cheese. Sickies so sloppy. offers a wide range of burgers, 50 to be exact, but its trademark is the Sickies burger, which has a great balance of savory, sweet, and tang. Those Customers fries look come gas. Come to the Thurman Cafe for the Thurminator, a towering burger consisting of 13 ingredients. Okay, dude, that's some Ohio shit I've ever burgers, seen it before. And bacon. And if it's too big, the Thurman burger is a smaller version. Okay, that looks Customers better. Delivers on a good, old-fashioned onion burger. Nope. The combination of beef, shoestring onions, and cheese that makes is the some perfect harmony Oklahoma of shit and for textures. Sure. PDX Sliders was listed as one of Yelp's best loved burger places in 2018. And Without the coleslaw, the I'm in. Geographic's best burgers in America. Those look it good. It is loved for its inventive and... Cues are picking up speed, at least. I think we lost enough games, so we're not in, like, super high games anymore, thank God. All right, let's continue the vid. ...loaded burgers that you can get in two sizes, slider or full size. Village Whiskey is well known for its burger and dark liquor combo in Center City. Its resident burger is the Village Burger, consisting of the house-made Thousand Island dressing, lettuce, a tomato slice, and the thick-cut 8-ounce Angus beef. These tiny burgers offer some big flavor at Harry's Bar and Burger. The potato slices I've never heard of this place either. Island favorite that are perfect to share. People say the Tavern Burger from Little Jack's that Tavern looks is good. one of the best burgers they've had in their life. South Carolina looks like they know their stuff. The is dressed with a special sauce, cooked onions, and melted American cheese. A must try in Charleston. That looks good. The Black Hills Burger in Bun Co. is a family-owned restaurant that makes some of the best burgers in town. The signature is the Hot Granny Burger, comprising bacon, cream cheese, jalapenos, and jalapeno jelly. There's also the option to replace the beef patty with bison. Locals know the best burger in Hendersonville can be found at Jumbo and Delicious. It serves up a mean burger that's juicy and bursting with flavor. Chris Madrid's may be considered the gold standard of burgers in San Antonio. Everyone's favorite is the Cheddar Cheesy Burger. Lucky 13 makes over 90 rotating specialty burgers that all deliver on flavor. But the constant bestseller is the Celestial Burger, is which that has blunt? bacon, grilled onions, and house barbecue sauce. Worthy well, that Burger one. cooks its burgers over a wood fire grill until pink and juicy. That its looks good. Burger is Aw, dude, made. I haven't been to Vermont, Vermont in years. Beef, cheese, buns, even you know, maybe I make a trip to Vermont. 
Vermont has good shit. Is grown there. Repeal Bourbon and Burgers is a Virginia Beach gem with well thought out burgers. Oh, barely thinking of the seven months. Teen burgers, including the most popular, Fire and Brimstone, with Tabasco fried onions, sriracha aioli, jack cheese, and house made chutney. Burger Soul in Tacoma fuses Korean and American flavors into its burgers. I'll be there in the May. You're going to Vermont in May burger. for what? And you can add some guac for an extra punch. But we'd recommend getting the Fire Soul burger, which consists of grilled pork butt, lettuce, pickled Korean cucumbers, and fire sauce. Oscar's breakfast this is graduation puts an oh. emphasis on fresh and good service. It makes about 1600 burgers a week and even more pre-pandemic. The top burgers are the clutch burger and the Byzantine burger. Uh. Sally's Grill serves the iconic Wisconsin butter burger. The sirloin patty is cooked in butter and topped with stewed onions and American cheese, not to mention smeared with a whole slab of butter. I mean, which... it looks good, but it, like yeah, the butter apocalypse, I don't know about that one. All right, let's finish this off. Slowly melts as you eat the burger and results in a weirdly satisfying pool on the plate. While it is Texas grown, Liberty Burger has become a local favorite in Jackson, Wyoming. Combinations are limitless with the eight patties, seven kinds of cheese and 24 toppings to choose from. While they aren't technically states, here are the best burgers in Washington, D.C. and Puerto Rico. Duke's I bet Puerto Rico's is, is going to be gas. Burger. It consists of two thin patties, melted gouda, charred red onions, pickles, garlic aioli, and salt? semi sweet chili sauce on top of toasted brioche buns. Buns Burger Shop is a restaurant chain in Puerto Rico that makes mouth watering burgers and shoestring fries similar Called to Five Guys. What foods do you think we should Called it was going to look good. Let us know in the comments. Okay. That wasn't bad.